Good morning boys and girls, I'm Tracy Cordroy and I'm the author of Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam. I've got the book and we're ready to go. Good boy Brody. Good boy, yes, good boy. Are you going to have a story with, with mummy? There we are. Right, can you see the picture boys and girls? There's the first picture and you can see a little bit of Brody's tail in the background. In the dead of night, when the moon yawned down, two gloomy robber dogs plodded through town. There they are, they're plodding along through town, you see. Yes, shifty McGifty and slippery Sam. They got to their house and they flopped down inside. We're no good at robbing at all, shifty sighed. He tipped out their swag bag. There's their swag bag. Can you see boys and girls? But nothing was there except for a... Wait for it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, can you see? Except for a spider who gave them a scare. All right, nodded Sam. We are bad at this job. And think of the places we just couldn't rob. The bank and the butchers, the paper shop too, the bookshop, the bike shop, and even the... You're going to turn over, boys and girls, see if you know what this is. Do you know what that is? Yes, the zoo. They couldn't even rob the zoo. Can you see Stephen Lenton, who's the illustrator, and he's great, and he's done these wonderful pictures. He's drawn a picture of a little thing in a bag, and I wonder if you know what that thing is. They usually go in pouches. Yeah. Hey, we should rob somewhere less tricky, Sam cried. Like where, muttered Shifty. Where haven't we tried? Our neighbours, said Sam, with a whoop and a shout. But hang on, groaned Shifty. They never go out. Boys and girls, you can't rob your neighbours if they never go out, but you're not, you're not, you mustn't rob your neighbours anyway, because that's a very bad thing to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. And there they are, look, Shifty and Sam are making a bad plan to rob their neighbours. Okay, but the problem is the neighbours never go out. He paced up and down. We'll invite them to tea. A party, he sniggered. Oh, clever old me. And then when the neighbours are here having fun, we'll sneak to their houses. And rob everyone. Oh dear, that's a bad plan. Dear. But parties have food, grumbled Sam. We can't cook. Don't worry, said Shifty. Uh, we got this cookbook. They started with... What are these boys and girls? Yeah, 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 donuts. That's right, there's the donuts. And to their surprise, they turned out just right. So they cooked some fruit pies. There they are. Now, cupcakes, cried Shifty. And let's ice them too. I never knew baking was fun, Sam. Did you? I think Sam's having a lovely time, look. He's doing the mixing. He can do that. Oh dear. The party day came and the neighbours piled in. How lovely, said one with a big curly grin. They gasped with delight when the food was set down. So creamy. So creamy. Oh, the best buns in town. Why, thank you, said Shifty. <laughs> It's nothing, beamed Sam. Would you care for a donut with raspberry jam? Oh, Sam. It's very nice.
nice donuts. Oh, but are they going to be naughty now, boys and girls? I think they are. Look, can you see? They've got their robin clothes on again. Now's our moment, his chifty. <laughs> They're all drinking tea. We need to get robbing, I think. Follow me. As they sneaked through a window, the window. they hadn't a clue that a neighbour, can you see it's a sausage dog, had heard what they wanted to do. They're thieves, he said crossly. I think that it's time that we all put a stop to this terrible crime. As the robber dogs crept to see what they could find, all of their neighbours were creeping behind. Okay, we're going inside now, one of their houses. Let's see if you can guess whose house is this, because Stephen Lent and the illustrator has done some clues for you, some great clues. Here we go. Oh, wow, whispered Sam as they slunk through a door. They'd never seen so many goodies before. Right, there's a clue. Doggy lives here, looks a bit like that. And he likes Highland dancing and playing the bagpipes. Ooh, can you guess? But all of a sudden, the door opened wide. Here we are. No, you don't, yelled their neighbours, bursting inside. Then... The Scotty dog suddenly started to sob. My teddy, he sniffled. They stole Big Eared Bob. Da, da, da. Don't cry, pleaded Shifty, and Sam turned quite pink. We're sorry, they murmured. We just didn't think. They didn't think. And that little Scotty dog there crying, he's called Len. Yeah, he's very sad. We see now that robbing makes everyone sad. But we still need a job. Just a job that's not bad. I know, cried the sausage dog, nodding his head. Why don't you open a cafe instead? A cafe, said Shifty. Do you think that we could? Oh, yes, said the neighbours. You'd be really good. So, wait for this beautiful cafe. The very next week... Oh, I'm sorry, that was Brody. Sorry, sorry. The very next week, on the town's busy street... Their new cafe opened, all shiny and neat. It had white polished tables and chairs with pink hearts. And it served yummy cupcakes and little jam tarts. Ooh, and what else can you see? Can you see? Yes, look, it sells that as well. Jelly, I wonder what flavour it is. Can you see boys and girls, they're not in their robbing clothes anymore. They're in their chef's clothes now. Let's see what happens on the next page. Oh, wow, Sam, grinned Shifty. Just look at the queue. All our neighbours are waiting and other dogs too. Sam peered from the window and fluffed up his hat. No more robbing, he nodded. We're done with all that. Boys and girls, you can see Dylan as well. My Dylan, um, where is he? Stephen drew Dylan. There he is. There's, there's Dylan. And this little dog here, she's called Holly and she was Stephen's dog. And Stephen had her for a long time. Let's see what happens at the end. Now Shifty and Sam never grumble or groan. They love baking cakes and they leave crime alone. And as for their swag bag, 
I'm happy to say they crumpled it up and they chucked it away. And here we are, boys and girls, at the end. There's a picture of their swag bag crumpled up and tucked away, you see. And there's the little spider waving goodbye. And Stephen's drawn a spider on every single page for you to find hiding somewhere. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story of Shifty the Gifty and Slippery Sam. And if you did, there are lots of other stories of Shifty as well. We, they don't rob anymore, but now they, they catch baddies. So we have Kitty LeClaw, who's known for disguising for breaking the law. And we have um, Sydney Scarper, who just likes sparkly things, what can I say? But he shouldn't take them. And then we also have Cunningham Sly, who is a, um, an, uh, he steals um, paintings. So he's a thief that sort of steals from art galleries. And we also have lots of um, lovely fiction for you to read too. If you're a bit old and you're into your chapter books, we have um, spooky School and we have Up, Up and Away and lovely um, the Christmassy one and inside it's all just one colour and we chose for the aliens coming we chose green as well so I hope you really enjoy having fun with Shifty and Sam for listening I'm going to say goodbye for now I'm just going to say goodbye I'm going to say goodbye to um, Dylan he's still here by my leg there he is it's going to be his birthday on Sunday and he's going to be 15 and last goodbye to Brody because he's being good at the moment I think you can hopefully you can see him right Brody say goodbye to the boys and girls just into the camera Bye.